So this first piece that I just played is called Honshirabe. This is one of the traditional shakuhachi pieces. Uh, it was, it's part of the big corpus called Honkyoku of shakuhachi literature, which was developed by a sect of Zen Buddhist monks about three, 400 years ago. The instrument that I was using for this um, is part of the collection in this museum. It's a very nice instrument. Um, and from the way, so unfortunately, I don't know a lot about this instrument, but from the way it is constructed, it is definitely quite an old instrument. Um, the tuning is a bit different than what I'm used to. Maybe you spotted some things in the piece that I was just playing. Um, and also the tone color is more mellow than uh, the modern shakuhachi that I use usually. But this is a very nice instrument. And I think in particular for Honshirabe, uh, which is called, um, which basically translates as uh, core piece or true piece. Um, uh, this is, very appropriate because uh, this piece is often being used for starting concerts, for starting a training session, or even for being your first piece that you learn on the shakuhachi. So uh, the next piece I'm going to play um, is also part of this literature. It's not quite as focused and quiet as the first one. It's called Azuma Jishi, the lion dance from the Azuma region. The next piece I'm going to play is a more modern piece. So even though the shakuhachi has been around for a long time and the core repertoire has been developed a few hundred years ago, there have always been other types of music that have been, uh, for which the shakuhachi has been used. This next piece is called Tsukikusa no Yume, the dream of the day flower. And this was composed by Fukuda Rando. He was quite a unique figure in shakuhachi history because he was not only trained in traditional Japanese music, but also in Western music. And he developed a very unique blend of the two styles of music. And he is also my teacher's teacher's teacher. So in a way, he is my shakuhachi great grandfather. And so that's one of the reasons why I like performing his pieces very much.
The name shakuhachi comes from its length. It is one shaku and eight sun long, or in Japanese, ichi shaku hachi sun, and this has been shortened to shakuhachi. These days, shakuhachi are also used in other lengths. So for example, this one here that I will be using for the next piece is two shaku and four sun long. So it is a longer flute and therefore has a more mellow tone. And in particular for some of the traditional shakuhachi repertoire, this is in a very, very appropriate tone color. As I already said, shakuhachi is being used for all types of music, and in Japan there is a very rich tradition of using shakuhachi together with folk songs, or minyo in Japanese. Uh, usually the shakuhachi is just playing along with the melody that is being sung. Uh, for this I'm going to use another instrument from the museum. Uh, this is a more modern construction. Um, uh, as far as I can make it out from the maker's mark here in the back, this has been made by Tom Deaver, a very interesting uh, figure in shakuhachi history as well. He is an American uh, shakuhachi maker who lived in Japan, and he made really very nice shakuhachi. So I'm going to use this for this next piece, which is called Suran Bushi, which is a minyo song from the northernmost island in Japan, from Hokkaido.
The next piece is called Koden Sugumori. This is again one of the traditional pieces and translated it means the nesting of the cranes. And cranes have a very special place in the Japanese heart because they are a symbol of longevity and of a self-sacrificing love of parents for their offspring. So this piece tries to capture this sentiment.
I'm going to finish this performance by playing a piece called Hotaru no Hikari. And this is a very uh, famous song as well in Japan. Uh, it means the glow of the firefly and it is usually played at graduation ceremonies and these days also for ending other events, even just for something mundane like closing off the shops. But in particular, listeners from Scotland will definitely be able to recognize this melody. And if you like, just sing along. <laughs> 